Earlier in today's show, we covered the prep work and installations that go into a siding project and discovered a new house wrap called Insultex. We were also reminded that there is no substitute for experience and attention to detail when measuring, cutting, and installing siding. Now let's head out to another project with our remodeling consultant, Andy Lindis. All right, Stu, I really wanted to show you this project for a few different reasons. One, this is a true, complete exterior by Lindis Construction. We've done the roofing, we've done the soffit and fascia, the seamless steel siding, brand new season guard windows and doors, and of course, to finish off the front, a new brick face that really does make the front of this house pop. And if you look up here, one last thing that still needs to be done to really make this a complete maintenance-free exterior is the leaf guard gutters, but we left that off on purpose so I could really show you the soffit and fascia. When we're talking on today's show about full wrap protection, that's what you mean. You're talking about a roof system. We've covered that in previous shows. You're talking about full wrap of the soffit and fascia. You're talking about the siding, the windows as well? Exactly. It's all about maintenance freedom and water and air infiltration. With the new windows, the roofing, soft and fascia, they're really never gonna have to worry about any of that. And I really do think that the energy costs in this house with what we've done with insulation and the house wrap are dramatically going to decrease. I tell you, from a contractor standpoint, you gotta love to have a project like this because you can control it and you can stand behind your promise of having a fully protected home that's gonna save you money to live in and last your lifetime. Uh, and it is one of those projects when you stand back, everything is brand new. I don't know how many projects I've done. We've done brand new siding in the house. I look back and go, oh, I wish I would have done the roof or like a kitchen remodel. You know, we do a countertop and like, oh, I should have done new cabinets too. Sure. This really is the complete job from start to finish. Everything's brand new, everything's maintenance free, and everything's watertight. And you know, one thing I notice is in the soffits, the venting that you chose to go with there. That's an important aspect that a lot of consumers not even think of. Yeah, no one really pays a lot of attention to that. Most soffits, you know, the wood soffits in the house, they have a little 10 inch square vent. The problem with those is usually a screening on the back side of those that is clogged. So you really have no air that's getting sucked from your roof vents to your soffit. What most people do to try to fix that is add roof vents. I don't care if you add 50 roof vents, if you've got plugged soffits, there's no air that's gonna get pulled into your attic and decrease that temperature. The reason why you need that temperature to decrease one, in the winter time, it's ice damming issues. But really for the longevity of the shingle, if you got a really hot attic, that shingle is going to start to deteriorate from the inside out. You want to make sure that that never happens. And so you want to talk to your contractor and say, are you going to address the lower software? Probably more important to have a higher percentage of lower ventilation than higher ventilation. Yeah, you really want a 60 to 40 ratio. So 60% of the venting is in the soffit to 40% on the roof. So the actual roof vents are pulling air. You, you'd hate for it to be the other way where it's trying to pull air from the roof vents sure. down because you can lead to moisture issues, things of that nature. Again, the voice of an experienced contractor who stands behind his work. Now we've addressed the full wrap protection, but then a couple of different types of siding. They went with the LP Smart Side. These guys went with the steel. There's different sizes, different styles. It becomes mind boggling, overwhelming for some consumers. How do you help a consumer select what's right for their situation? Uh, you know, hundreds of different colors you can choose from, tons of different styles, whether like you see on this house here, you have your eight inch regular lap siding. The house we were at earlier today had a five inch reveal. Then they got the double four inch Dutch lap, double five inch Dutch lap, and so on and so forth. There's even vertical applications for both LP and the seamless steel. It's really hard for a homeowner to visualize that looking at a brochure. Mm -hmm. What we do when we come out to the house, we stand at the curb, take a picture of the front of their home, and we can show them immediately an after picture. What it would look like with the brick, what it would look like with the new season guard windows, what it would look like with vertical siding, or any of the other styles or colors that you'd like to see on your house. You know what that means to me is peace of mind. Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about, because as a consumer going through the process, I'd be worried that I'm making a mistake. Oh, did I select the right one? Should I have gone a 10 inch instead of eight inch or five inch? But you're saying that you can show them before a nail has been pounded or any siding has been removed what the end result's going to look like? Yeah, so it really does manage expectations. They know exactly what they're getting before we start, so they're always going to be satisfied. The last thing I want to do is put on a brand new siding for somebody and have it a shade off for color. So even though it was done perfectly, they're not quite satisfied. By being able to digitally show them 
what their house could look like with the siding after we're done with it, they're really able to make a decision. Boy, makes sense to me. Be an educated consumer, do your homework, select the right contractor. And along the lines of selecting the right contractor, warranty plays a big part in this. And it's not just understanding your warranty from the manufacturing, but also having a contractor that's going to stand behind it. You know us, we have really good relationship with all of the manufacturers. It's one of the things, in order for us to choose that product, we got to get some things in writing from each manufacturer. We know that our LP Smart Side, our seamless steel siding, our roofing, our gutters, our windows, the softened fascia, everything that we put on somebody's house is guaranteed to last a lifetime, and that warranty is good for you and the next person that owns the home. Now, here's the cool part. Because of our relationship, our homeowners will never have to work with the manufacturer. They work with us. We'll work with the manufacturer. That way we can ensure that a speedy recovery happens. Not that warranty work happens all the time, no. but let's face it, all products you know, have some issues at one point or another. It's how you address those issues. Exactly. Every manufacturer has had a warranty issue or two. It's how the contractor works with the manufacturer that really speeds that up. Well, Andy, it's been enjoyable learning more about a full wrap protection of the siding system. We've learned about the roofing full wrap protection in shows past, and when you put it all together, it's no wonder you have so many satisfied customers. Thanks for coming on today's show. Hey, my pleasure. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. The most important stage of a siding project is the prep work and all the sealing that occurs behind the walls you see. Caulking, taping around windows and doors, and installing the best possible house wrap all pay dividends, so never underestimate this phase and how it's being done. Next, understand the products being installed on your home. The experience of the crew installing the siding should be known, and you should also know the siding, ceiling, and prep products being used. Finally, if you're considering a new roof or replacing siding, think of a home as a system that needs layers of protection. And then talk with your remodeling contractor to see how this can be accomplished with your home. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Sure hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on Today's Home Remodeler. For more information about today's topic and upcoming episodes of Today's Home Remodeler, please visit these websites. Cut. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.